The UFC has been home to some of the shiniest stars in the MMA galaxy, like Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Brock Lesnar, and John Jones. But most of the names you just heard are either things of the past, or very soon will be history. The new era is upon us, with young guns firing on all cylinders, and hoping to be the next big thing in the violent world of MMA. So, among all those talented candidates, who will be UFC's next cash cow? The UFC is home to some of the hottest prospects in the MMA world right now, with each fighter offering fans a unique selling point. Hamza Chimaev, for example, is an absolute mauler who loves to squeeze, smash and destroy. His wrestling is on par with the undefeated and undisputed Khabib Nurmagomedov, and his striking is extremely ferocious for a man who loves to wrestle. Boris is extremely aggressive and violent inside the cage, but outside of it, he's even more unpredictable. At first glance, Himaev may appear like a gentle and kind Chechen wrestler who rarely engages in fights outside of the cage, but he's an entirely different character, a wrecking ball of fury who'd steamroll anyone and everyone. Himaev is a menace who calls dudes mother effers, bitches, and talks about killing them inside the cage. He's an absolute character and has all the tools that a UFC star needs to have. Himaev has the style, he has the skills and personality, much like Bodhi Nikal, another wrestling phenom with a ton of hype behind him. The three-time NCAA Division I All-American is one of the greatest wrestlers in American history, with over 100 wins in collegiate wrestling and seriously accomplished freestyle wrestling career. When he takes you down, it's over 90% of the time, but the bad thing is, he can't even crack on the feet. The wrestling ace who trains at the American top team with guys like Dustin Poirier and Jorge Masvidal combines world-class wrestling with a seriously nippy striking skill set, which has already sent a couple of dudes into the shadow realm. Considering Nicole still has a long way to go in MMA since he's only 5-0 in the sport, the sky is truly the limit for him. He is America's biggest shot at stardom in MMA. As far as Kazakhstan is concerned, they have their gentle monster in the shape of Shavkat Rachmanov, who may not be as outspoken as Shimaev or Nikal, but he's still extremely deadly. Rachmanov is a cool and innocent dude with a gummy smile outside of the cage, but inside of the realms of the glorious UFC octagon, he's a soul-snatching demon. He is one of the scariest guys in the sport thanks to a 100% finishing rate. The judges love this dude because their job becomes a whole lot easier when he's fighting. Rachmanov is a combat samba world champion, which automatically qualifies him as a world-class grappler, but he's a striker unlike any you have seen in the welterweight division. The horse meat eating monster is loose and unorthodox. He is unpredictable and his shots come from different angles, meaning that he's a roll of the dice. None of his opponents know what he'll do next. The unpredictability coupled with his undefeated record and an awe-inspiring record is what makes him a special fighter. One that has the potential to be an absolute star at welterweight. As far as the featherweight division is concerned, we have ourselves the nasty Ilya Tapuria, who is one step away from getting his hands on the UFC featherweight title. This man is an absolute menace inside the octagon, where he literally dismantles people wherever the fight goes. He knocks the brain cells out of BJJ legends, chokes wrestlers out, and batters powerful strikers like Josh Emmett on the feet. From his humble beginnings in Spain to earning a title shot in the UFC, Topuria has been growing in confidence every step of the way. He has melted some of the toughest dudes on the planet with his pace, power, aggression, and confidence. He can strike, he can grapple, he has cardio for days, and his fight IQ is second to none. But even outside of the cage, the Georgian is a menace, as he is pretty sharp on the mic and doesn't mind throwing down backstage, which means he has a massive aptitude for producing viral moments that the UFC can market to an audience that craves McGregor-like shenanigans in the UFC. Topuria has the highest potential to be the next big thing in the UFC, and if he manages to beat Alexander Volkanovsky at UFC 298, then MMA gods save whoever challenges him for the belt first. He's definitely not losing anytime soon if he beats the Aussie, just like a certain Nurmagomedov who wants to keep his family's flag flying high. 
Otherwise known as Young Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov's cousin Omar Nurmagomedov is the scariest guy in the UFC Bantam division who knows exactly what he has to do to reach the top. Win fights. The undefeated 16-0 sensation is a combat sambo world champion with a world-class grappling skill set. But what makes him different from the rest of his Dagestani peers is his striking. Unlike Khabib and Islam Makachev, Omar Nurmagomedov is a high-level Muay Thai fighter who has been trading kicks and punches from a young age. His kicks in particular are some of the finest in the game, and he loves to pick his opponents apart from distance using his long legs. But that doesn't mean Umar can't throw punches. He can, and he proved it, against Raoni Barcelos, who Nurmagomedov knocked out gold in his most recent fight. The number 14 ranked bantamweight is the best young prospect in the world, who feels he's ready to take on the best in the business, including Sean O'Malley and Merab Zwalishvili. If he puts his money where his mouth is, he can become a real star in MMA. Especially when backed by one of the most popular MMA fighters ever, Khabib Nurmagomedov. While Umar Nurmagomedov has the backing of Khabib and his 30 million plus Instagram followers, Tom Aspinall has the support of the United Kingdom, and that's enough to motivate him. The interim heavyweight champion is the most skillful heavyweight on the planet right now. He's an exceptional grappler with fists of fury. No, really, Aspinall has the best boxing in the UFC heavyweight division, and that is because he often spars with Tyson Fury. He has nippy hands, and he's very quick on his feet. His speed, in particular, is a major advantage against sluggish heavyweights who fail to match him on the feet. On the mat, he's even deadlier, as his BJJ and wrestling are seriously dangerous. In his short UFC career, Aspinall has taken out some of the meanest dudes on the planet, and he now eyes a blockbuster fight against the GOAT, John Jones. If that fight happens and Aspinall manages to dominate Jones, then there's no stopping him from becoming the biggest star in heavyweight mixed martial arts. Now, these were the six guys who have the potential to be the UFC's next big star. But if we had to pick one, it would be Hamzat Himayev, although Ilya Tapuria is a close second. The reason why we're picking Hamzat over everyone else is because he's already got millions of followers on his social media channel, and he perfectly fills the void that Khabib left when he retired in 2020. Timayev's ability to ragdoll people and have fairly easy fights in a sport that's extremely unpredictable sets him apart from the rest of his peers. I mean, if he can manhandle Kamara Usman, and that too with a broken hand, what can he do? The UFC middleweight division is in for a rude awakening. If it thinks Himaev is simply a hype train, he's elite, he's a monster, and he's only a few title victories away from becoming the biggest star in MMA. His time will come very soon. Who do you think will be the UFC's next big star? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.